I'm just curious. I don't have you blocked from my channel. Come on in the comments. You can say whatever you want to on my channel. You don't have to come in under a, a fake account. You know? God knows. Uh, that's, that's a whole lot of freaking trouble. Like, your channel is giving somebody some clout. But if you don't mind, uh, you know, and I know a lot of, of your followers uh, may watch this video. Uh, you, the followers, subscribers, whatever, ask your war daddy why I'm blocked from their channel. And then you can come into my comments and ask me why I ain't blocked them from my channel. Okay, guys, good morning. Okay, y'all, so good morning. It's uh, Sunday morning, and uh, it's supposed to rain, I think they said Tuesday. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go over here to the bamboo site and get some of these trees cleaned up uh, because I got other work I need to do uh, with the machine. What else I got going on? Uh, yeah. So y'all see that I'm having all kind of issues with the machine, uh, with the Bobcat. Uh, I talked to the mechanic and he said, bring it back up there. And uh, yeah. And you know, if, if he told me he'd give me half my money back, then I would just say, okay. And I would take it to the dealer. But see, I'm hung up in this, in this little fix, you know, this, this time around because I done paid him. I done paid him over $1,500 and it's not fixed. Uh, there's still a leak. It's not a bad leak, but there's other things going on too, you know? Uh, so yeah, man, it just, I don't know, man. It just ain't cool, man. Uh, needless to say. So, <laughs> so brother-in-law, was in the live the other night, and for somebody that don't watch a lot of videos, like he says, he showed us keep up with, it, with with all the comments. You know, can't stand it that somebody's saying something bad about him. He coming after you guys, not me. He's coming after y'all uh, about some of the comments that were uh, said in the video the other day. Um, you know, he's just I don't know. A dumbass. I mean, I don't know how else to say it, man. Uh, just a dumbass. So, I don't understand where these dumbasses keep coming off saying that I said this about the trailer. So I never said that. And if I did, somebody show me. I couldn't imagine if I'd been doing this for, I don't know, 10 or 11 years and not have a tandem trailer. Oh, well, the reason I don't have a tandem trailer is because I bought a $30,000 truck that won't even pull it with a six-cylinder. And then Mo and Curly, you know, they come on there, and they're saying, like, they coming after y'all, and they ain't coming after me. Like, they trying to turn y'all against me or something or trying to provoke you guys. He came on there and did a little, you know, a little clip justifying and all that talking about some of you guys said that they couldn't you know that their customers uh that your customers would fire them or not use them for doing low income properties dude low income properties is my bread and butter man i've been doing low income properties uh the whole time i've been in business so i don't that, that's certainly not something that uh, I frown upon because that's the, that's the meat of everything. The big property dude went on a five minute rant about me. Of course, these guys are cowards because they scared to say somebody's name. They scared to call somebody out. They just 
but everybody knows who they're talking about. I mean, people, I mean, it's just, it, it's like kitty games, man. You know, for a guy that says, I don't, I don't watch lawn care videos. I don't know how the hell you know all this shit that's going on. And if you don't watch them, you're just a liar. You, uh, you, you a low life. You're a bottom feeder, man. All them dudes are, man. I don't care what they say. They bottom feeders, man. And they like to come at folks and in a sidewindery slick kind of way, like they slick or something. When, you know, the first thing out of, out of brother-in-law's mouth was, well, if I have a problem, I'll just call him. Well, I tried to call you. I didn't know that I didn't know that you were so sensitive about things that people are telling you somebody did about your wife. Ain't nobody that I associate with did that and it been proven. So, uh, brother-in-law and Mo and Curly, they were saying that, you know, uh, brother-in-law was saying that they all give great advice. No hell you don't. You don't give great advice. You talk about it. But your actions don't show, you don't follow your own advice. That's a sign that it's not good advice. Uh, I got to get over here and pick Zach up because we're going to be doing uh, the bamboo site today. We're going to be working over there picking up those trees and stuff. Yeah. What's up with that? I'm just curious. I don't know. Stupid shit. Because, because you don't want nobody saying anything negative on your channel. But y'all are full of negativity. Y'all like to throw shade, but y'all don't like to answer the piper. Y'all be doing some, some low-down shit, man. This is cowardly acts is what I call them. It's just, that's what it is. You know. They're going to go in a live and talk shit. And then not, not let anybody comment on that that is that that they're talking about why is that i wonder y'all why y'all think that is i mean it ain't you know it ain't my fault that they ain't got no business about themselves get some business about yourself man ain't nobody gonna be taking long care advice tips advice from you guys you guys are a joke. And it's sad when brother-in-law knows more than all the other ones in his little clique. That's sad. That tells you the state of all uh, of, of some of these channels. I bet you they don't have the big channels blocked because they're dreaming for the big channels to come in there and comment. Don't worry. I'll be a big channel one day. Don't worry. You'll be right where you're at. You know, I just made the, you know, I had not even done the video on his trailer before he had to seem to have the urge to finally speak up. I guess his war daddy said it'll make for good content. So... Poor Daddy Joe got it going on, and he's got two or three followers that just will do anything that he tells them to do. That's just crazy. Yeah, crazy. That's what I said. Well, why, why don't we see that side of the story?
I bet you that if well they were talking about how clean their mowers are or not and you know if your mower's real clean my mower if your mower's real clean that means you ain't use it well my mower certainly ain't real clean I don't put a lot of emphasis on that nothing wrong with people that do but it's just not I don't I mean uh, I, I worry more about the uh, you know the mechanical working of the machine but I bet your big dollar customers that sends you over to do their rental properties I bet you they don't know the kind of things that you do on your YouTube channel I bet you that I bet you you don't tell them about your live and going into your live check something when I get over here. I bet you that. I guarantee you that your high dollar customers wouldn't like some of the Spencer videos that you do. And I guarantee you your, your customers certainly wouldn't like the the, the lives that y'all do. I mean, why don't you tell them about that? Why don't you tell your customers since you, 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 uh, you know, making judgments on everybody and you're calling everybody, you're telling everybody that they making judgments on you. I guarantee you, if, if some of them high dollar customers saw your lives and saw uh, what a joke you guys are professionally, y'all ain't even, and ain't funny either. I guarantee you that your brother-in-law ain't doing nothing but just taking the path of least resistance. Because at the end of the day, he's just, he's just buddies with them, so they don't talk bad about him. He puts so much emphasis on people talking bad about him. You know? wants to control he's controlling he wants to control everything he wants to, I mean I don't see how he has any subscribers I don't because and once you you might watch it for a few months but after that it'll be like man that's kind of you know boring and lame you know so yeah and as far as brother-in-law saying we don't do any work I mean what are you talking about dude I mean just look at the videos that I do. I'm doing work all the time. All the time. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do the kind of work you do. But I do the kind of work that I, that, that makes money. And What's up, man? I was just explaining to YouTube. They talking bad about us, man. Did you see where they're talking bad about us? Mm -hmm. You missed the video where they're talking bad about us? Mm -hmm. Damn. They, 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 they all we over do. us, man. What do we do? Saying that we don't do no work. We don't make no we don't. money. <laughs> and we don't, and we don't, uh, well, I don't really have a business. You don't. And, you know. This truck ain't real. Yeah. That's an imaginary Yeah, we don't ever do no work. All I do is ride around and talk shit in the truck. Yeah. Right. That's all I do. That means that, that tells you, to, and, and everything seems to be rolling pretty good. So that's just the illusion that you guys get from the videos. Because I like to be crystal clear when I'm doing a video when I'm talking. You know, crystal clear so you can hear me. You got to go to the store or anything? I'm good. Cool. You good? You yeah. sure? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, we ain't going to be gone long. Mm -mm. We don't do no work. Yeah. We just going to go over here and get started on somebody cleaning up some of these trees. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah. 
but I was just trying to put it all together, man. The whole video today is going to be a rant on y'all low lives. <laughs> just saying, man. I kick back. Don't worry, there's more to come. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I mean, dude, this is a pretty good bit of work right here, man. It's a lot of work, dude. Now, could y'all imagine doing this by hand? What do you think, Zach? How long would it take to do this by hand? Look. Because I'll probably have to take it. Huh? Because I'll probably have to take it. A long time, too long. I bet you if you was over here by hand, this would be a two day job. Because how are you going to move them big that big hunk? See? So probably what I'll have you do, Zach, is you'll come right along in here, you know, and just cut. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cut the trunks. Uh, and it looks like, for the most part, you're going to have to come up from the bottom. You know? Yeah. Uh, like that big one right there. You probably have to come up from the bottom, but I'll be right here with the machine so you, you don't get, just don't hit the ground with the chop saw. Uh, where am I taking all this shit, dude? This is a lot, man. Y'all see it, man. Look at all that, man. If I take it over to the burn pile, well, that's a lot to burn, man. Big shit, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna get the saws ready and get the skits there off. I gotta put my boots on. Uh, yeah. What pie? Where? Over here? You're talking about the... Well, no, I, I don't mind taking it over there, but but if, it, if we put it over there, then we gotta burn it. And some of this stuff is kind of big to be burning if you don't have to. Now, if I was bringing it from another job and dumping it, then I have to burn that, but this stuff is on the property. This stuff right here is going to uh, a lot of these big hunks. So they don't really care as long as it goes to the woods. As long as they're not here and we can't see them. Now, a lot of these tops I'll take over to the burn pile, like, you know, like, like the tops here. But if you go right down through here, making it where the machine can come right here, right? And just, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, I don't see it. Then I get all this and then... There you go. There's a, quite a job of picking stuff up. Even, I mean, it's, <laughs> the machine's not gonna be able to pick up all that little stuff. This is a prime example of when you of, of a company dropping trees and not having to clean up. This is the hardest part to me. Dude, this is huge, man. There's a lot more over here than I thought, man. There's no, yeah. So we got this right here, y'all. We're gonna try to work on i'm not saying we're gonna get all this done today because i don't i'm not working that long today uh we're kind of just testing the machine out and making sure that the machine is gonna uh gonna do good with the new sprockets and all uh, yeah damn yeah y'all all right i'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off. y'all so y'all kind of see what we got what we got going on here uh 
And we know that it's not going to be perfect, perfect, but it just shows you that taking the trees down is is the easy part. I mean, really. Uh, of course, you got to have some skill and know-how, but the cleanup is always the most time-consuming. I mean, this this is a lot of work right here. You know, uh, bobcat seems to be running real good. Uh, we we're, we're we're starting to get some of the big ones. I'm gonna try to pull that one up. Uh, and then all this stuff right here is gonna either go that way or that way. And uh, I'm not really worried about the magnolia leaves and stuff. <clears throat> all that debris up there on that hill. I'll grab that and take it over to the burn pile. But to do this by hand, oh my God, man. How much y'all think y'all would charge to do what we're doing here? What should I charge y'all? Y'all tell me. Yeah. And this is just one batch of trees. Man, it's a lot, dog. It's a lot of work over here, y'all. So, y'all see it. Got all the trees up. I got that pile right there. It's a little too soft right there to get that right now. Uh, I may just end up clearing that little patch out right there other than the big trees. So, if I'm going to do that, then I'll just push it on down. We really need to create a drainage here because uh, water does not want to drain like it's supposed to. y'all see it man so we got the trees up for the most part there's some down in that there's some on down in that gully right there that i couldn't uh get to it's a little bit uh muddy down in there but we really need a blow over here to blow all these leaves off the gravel i'm not gonna run the power rake right through the gravel because it drags the gravel too so i went down the driveway with the power rake right too uh I smell hydraulic fluid. <laughs> so the machine is running really good. And it's actually, I've been running it straight over here for about four hours. And it's still got hydraulic fluid in it. So that's a good thing. The new, the new sprockets are doing fine. Everything is uh, doing pretty good. I'm glad I didn't cuss the mechanic out because it seems to be holding fluid. I mean, holding fluid now. Some of that coming out in my driveway could have been where it just leaked, uh, you know, where it was built up inside the machine. Uh, yeah. But anyway, y'all see what it is, man. Uh, 
and that's a wrap. We won't play, man. All right, y'all. So, Mikey, Mikey, here's your tree, man. Y'all see that pine tree right there? Look at the top of it. You're talking about sketch. So, Mikey, come get this tree down, man. How would you get that tree down? So, yeah. How would you get that tree down, y'all? You ain't coming this way. You ain't coming this way. You ain't coming this way. You ain't coming where I'm standing at. And you ain't going that way either with that other tree. Look at that, man. Isn't that crazy, dog? That, and that tree is rotten, man. It is actually moving. Oh, my God. Mikey, come get this tree, man. I'm saving it for you, Mikey. Y'all know, man. Hell to the gnaw, man. I mean, they could be paying $1,000 to get that tree on the ground, and I wouldn't be able to get it on the ground. And I got man live, bobcat, everything. I don't think we could get that tree, dude. You know what? Are you? How would you get it down? You're going to have to have a... What you got to have is a freaking... Is a probably an 80 foot man lift to pick you up and 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 take the top out ain't nobody ain't nobody gonna climb it oh ain't nobody gonna climb that tree oh no they ain't gonna climb that tree it's way too dead for that they get up there in the damn fall man <laughs> it looks like it's moving now i mean that is a hell of a tree y'all How, how do you get that tree down? Any of y'all got any suggestions? Y'all let me know, man. I would not take on a job like that, personally. And it doesn't matter how much money they're paying. Unless they're paying like five grand, then I can hire a tree company to come do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, y'all. All right, we got one more, man. We, uh, I think, we, I'm, we're gonna go over here, and we're, there's three over here. If the other two need it, then we won't do that other one. We'll wait till tomorrow. But uh, we need to do the veranda. So 